Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body to be down here, Michael, on this Thursday afternoon. Well, maybe early evening. Uh, the last couple of days or so this week, I've kind of worked out whenever I wanted to work out. And normally, I work out at four o'clock in the afternoon, and now it's it's after six. It is six twenty-two p.m. I've just been taking the day and enjoying doing nothing. So, as you can see, this wall here has a lot of stuff going on. Go look for the videos on that and the update video on that as well where I added more. So, anyway, uh, we're following the same, uh, the same routine, way of thought. Today, as we have the last three days this week, uh, this is an easy week for me. I'm just taking it easy and... Just going through the motions, kind of still getting the stuff done, but not killing myself. So uh, today is leg day. We're going to be doing squats, and that's it. We're just going to be doing a few sets, nothing crazy. And uh, to touch base on something else, uh, you guys know I'm fairly strict with my diet, and uh, I give myself one cheat day a week. And that's on Saturdays. And one thing that I've cut out of my life, out of my diet, is ground beef. And for good reason, uh, ground beef is disgusting to me anymore. Unless it's on a cheeseburger or in a burrito. Have you ever had burritos when you go out and the meat's not greasy and it's, they got them, you know, little spoons with the little, and then spoon it on there and it's all nice and dry and kind of, yeah, that's okay. But when you make your average normal person makes ground beef, food, uh, be it at home, uh, it's not dry. It's usually greasy and nasty. And that's killing me. Today for lunch, I buckled. I needed something to eat. I didn't feel like making anything. And my wife made a meatloaf, I think yesterday, I don't even remember. And I had some meatloaf. And of course, that's ground beef. And I have felt like crap since I ate that. Not to, not saying nothing bad about her cooking it. It tasted fine, but ooh, it sits heavy. Once you get used to not eating that kind of stuff, man. And you might wonder, well, Mike, why does it do that? Well, cook some ground beef up and let it sit in the pan, and look what it looks like the next day. All that fat and all that grease and all that nastiness has set up into like a thick gel of paste almost. And that's what goes inside your body. That's what goes inside your arteries and your veins. And that's why we're dying. Because that's actually setting up in your arteries. My opinion. I haven't done research on it. So you might want to research on that. But in my opinion, all that stuff is caking up in your arteries uh, little by little. And I felt like I was going to die. So I even almost threw up laying down. I took a nap, a late nap. And uh, almost felt like I was going to throw up. So, whew, not my wife's cooking, again, uh, but maybe it is, I don't know. Don't tell her. Anyway, long opening to the video. Matter of fact, we are three minutes and 45 seconds in. Let's go ahead and get these, these uh, quick squats done. I don't have any plans. I do. I just have a couple of sets already wrote down that I know I'm going to. So, oh, one more thing, sorry. And this is for my buddy John over at uh, Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. You're doing good on your squats. I think if you work hard at them, try and, uh, try and get on them for a couple times a week and just make them priority like you do uh, your chest that you're so good at. I think if you do that, you're going to be squatting with the best of them because uh, you're, you're good at what you do and you train and you take it serious. So I'm proud of you for what you're doing. I hope you uh, can accomplish uh, whatever goals that you make, uh, whatever that may be, just maybe doing a lightweight squat and doing it perfectly perfect, that might be your goal. Or it might be to squat 500 pounds. I don't know, but you're doing good. And everybody go check out his channel, Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. He's an awesome guy. Now let's squat. Why am I turning this way? I don't know. Look at the wall. Okay. 
Guys, this first warm-up set that I do <clears throat> is about as difficult for me to do as 405 pounds for five reps, and I haven't done that. So if that tells you anything, uh, my body is very stiff from my horrible, disgusting back to my hips and everything, and uh, just getting into position here on this first set is rough, and... Uh, Every rep that I'm doing here on this warm-up set, which is typical of all my very first sets, uh, it's just really, really uncomfortable, stiff, you know, trying to get my body to move in ways that it's supposed to move but does not want to move. So just so you know, you know, we all have it, not all, but uh, a lot of us out here have it difficult uh, when we're trying to do squats because it's... It's a natural movement, but at the same time, when you have a lot of wear and tear on certain body parts, it's not that easy. And typically, by the time that I'm ready to do my second warm-up set, um, my body is already feeling a lot more uh, limber, and I'm not as uncomfortable and uh, that's all it takes sometimes is just one good warm-up set to get you really ready for, well, maybe your, your next warm-up set. <laughs> so that's the case a lot of times when I do squats. And then sometimes I don't really loosen up until maybe I get to 225 and then I start kind of feeling more like myself and uh, moving a little bit better. But, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit, guys. So just hang in there and uh, stick with it. Case in point, right here on this set of 225, uh, I'm already feeling quite a bit better, more limber, and uh, this set goes pretty well. And uh, then we go up from here, and uh, hey, we see what happens, guys, because you never know. Uh, I'm taking it light and easy this week, but, you know, we still got to challenge ourselves just a bit. So here we are at 315. Uh, this is where I stopped on Monday, which is my first leg day of the week. Um, so this is 315. And uh, one thing I want to mention is if you're having problems with your squats, sometimes using a different uh, foot spacing can solve the problem. For me, I have to go a smidgen bit wide like you see here. Some people can go really narrow, but that's not me. Might not be you either. And you'll notice right here we put 25s on the ends, so that gets us up to 365. And uh, I'm glad I went ahead and did this. I decided to go on up, and uh, I thought about going up a little bit higher after this, but I kept it uh, in a normal kind of easier range instead of really going and pushing. So, yeah. So we get a good set here, and uh, let's get her done. So see here, you'll notice instead of going up a heavier weight, which I didn't need to do, and so I made myself not do it, I just do another set of 365, but in this case we're going to do two reps. And uh, again, a couple of things to take note here is foot placement, taking your time with the squat, getting your breath right. You want to go down uh, correctly with your breath and come back up pushing and uh, you want to make sure that that's all in check because that really matters when you're squatting there we go 365 for two little reps well there you go guys we got ourselves in a little workout 
kind of made myself a little proud today. I went up to 365, did two sets, one rep and then two. So in the back of my mind, I kept saying, yeah, let's go to 405. Let's go ahead and do it. And I made myself stay back. Now today wasn't anything special. I didn't do like a lot of reps of anything in place of going up higher or in place of doing more sets. I didn't do anything amazing as far as all that goes, but you know, going up a few pounds like I did, uh, 50 pounds uh, from Monday where I just stopped at 315, going up and uh, hitting 365 was pretty good and uh, a good way to do my second leg day. So anyway, guys, uh, we're done here. I hope everybody has a, a good day. A good night and uh, you know remember to try and take care of yourself guys inside and out the little thing I talked about with the ground beef no joke if you stop eating that like I have and only have it on your one cheat day it, it, periodically I don't even have ground beef like hardly ever but it, it changes everything uh, you, you really see how kind of gross and greasy it is so but like I said, a lot of those taco burrito kind of places where you go in and, uh, you know, get tacos and burritos and all that stuff, you know, at the taco burrito place. Whew. Anyway, a lot of times their ground beef is thoroughly drained and it's not greasy at all. It's just nice and they scoop it out there. Now that is good. I can, you know, that, that don't bother me. But uh, your normal, typical, everyday ground beef that we're cooking that most people cook it's ugh. anyway enough on that guys i'm just trying to help you i know from experience uh what it's done for me maybe anyway like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down that's me and michael your take it easy on this week host okay and get up get out get ready do it to it and we'll see you next time on the body beat down did I say like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to me. You all know the routine. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it.